Good morning, Spirit of the living God. For your infinite grace to give us all that we need pertaining to our daily bread, our daily provisions, and our daily protection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Beloved, in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, the Apostle Paul declared, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. We used to think of air and water, perhaps sunlight also, as being available in super abundant quantities, more than was needed. But no more. Clean air has become a rarity in many parts of the world. And experts are predicting that clean water will be fought over by nations in the future. Food, air, and water are becoming limited rather than unlimited resources. But there is one resource needful for life, indeed, the most important resource of all that exists in infinite quantities, the grace of God. Nowhere in scripture is grace pictured in limited terms. There is always more grace to come, more grace to replace grace that has been given because through giving is enabled by grace. Our ability to give knows no limits. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians that God is able to make our grace abound towards us, that we will always have all sufficiency and abundance for every good work. Beloved, if you sense God leading you to give, don't hold back out of a fear of running out. When you open your hand to give, grace is able to fill your empty hand with what you need and more. Remember, a given Savior should have given disciples. And that is why Paul declared, for I bear witness that according to the ability, yes, and beyond the ability, they were freely willing. What a testimony to the Christian believers in Macedonia. Second Corinthians 8.3 According to even research, the rich gave more dollars to charity, but the working poor give a larger percentage of their income. And the single biggest indicator of whether a person will give to charity is his or her religious life or not. Religious people give more frequently and more overall, four times more than non-religious people. Biblical history seems to back up that research, the most generous people mentioned in the New Testament were apparently poor Christian believers in Macedonia. When Paul asked them to contribute what they could to help the persecuted and suffering church in Jerusalem, they begged Paul to accept their gifts and deliver them to Jerusalem. And those were gifts given in a great trial of affliction and deep poverty, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2. To what does Paul attribute your spontaneous liberality? The grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. It is no wonder that Paul used 
the term cheerful giver in 2 Corinthians 9 7 to describe those filled with grace to give. May you be a cheerful giver throughout your stay with this ministry. We will be very pleased if you give to support this ministry. For God using this ministry to bless you. You can go to our PayPal account and donate. Beloved, the secret of true giving is the joy of the Holy Ghost. As you give towards this ministry, may that, may that joy well up in your spirit, soul, and body and keep you moving in the mind the name of Jesus Christ our Lord have a wonderful celebration of a gift of a new day thank you for listening and may God richly bless you bye for now Thank you.